Hey there, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to quickly show you how you can build a live subscriber account with Node.js in just a few lines of code. And as you can see right here, I already have the graph generating for the subscriber account of PewDiePie. So stay tuned if you're interested. So let me show you how you can do this. First thing we gotta do is to import the libraries that we are going to use in this project. So request for direct requests to this actual URL to the YouTube servers and Cheerio for actual parsing of the HTML that we get from the request promise library. So here is what we are going to do. First off, I'm going to go into my YouTube channel URL and I'm going to show you right here. We have the subscriber account. We are going to right click inspect on this dragging this just a bit to the right and as you can see right here we have the actual text that is uh, displaying the number of subscribers in this type of format but we gotta take care because we are using request promise which is giving us the raw html response which is not going to look like the browser html that you see right here in the console and that is because youtube renders different parts of the website dynamically so the best thing that we got to do right now is to build the actual request in the code and to do a test run to see where the subscriber count is initially located in the actual HTML response. So let's do that right now. I'm just going to simply create another variable right here, which is going to be response. And I'm going to say await request and I'm going to simply pass in the YouTube channel URL without any extra parameters. And Right here, I'm going to set a debugger so that we can check what we got. Let's start to run this. It stopped in the debugger and let's check out the response. I'm going to copy this value, stop the debugger, clean this up just a bit right here. And I'm going to create a new file so that we can check it more easily. And now we can simply search for the actual subscriber count so that we can see where it is located. 465 and just like this we found the three results let's see right here we have the span of class youtube subscriber subscription button subscriber count and right here as you can see we have the label which is uh, 465 in uh, romanian and also here we have the number okay pretty cool so I think we can make use of this uh, span class of YouTube subscription button count. And now let's try to see if we can find this element with this query selector. So what I'm going to do is go back right here and I'm going to initiate the Cheerio library just like this dot load. And in the load, I'm going to pass in the HTML, which is the response. Okay. And now I'm going to create another variable, which is test and I want to see and build the selector. So right here we have the class. I'm going to select everything. Okay, let's go. Okay, a bit to the left. And I have it right here. Being careful to select only what we need. So I think this is it. And I'm just going to put it like this. We want the class YouTube subscription button. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to save it and let's test it out. Let's see if it works. All right. Now it's stopped in the debugger. Let's check out this test variable. I'm going to open up the console right here. Debug console and I'm going to write test. Okay. And as you can see, we have right here one element, one node. And let's check out the attributes. And as you can see right here, we have the title with the exact number of subscribers. Perfect. All right. Let's close this up. And also this. And I'm going to say right here, subscriber count. And the only thing that we want to do right here is to get the actual attribute, which is title. And this is basically it for the subscriber count. So I want to console.log this. 
and let's see if it works properly. I'm going to also remove the debugger. Okay, so as you can see, we have the debug console 465 and it's looking good. I'm going to close this up and let's test it out with another channel. Let's check out PewDiePie. Copy this link and I'm going to paste it right here. Save and I'm going to launch it again go in the debug console and as you can see right here we have 95 million subscribers which is actually accurate if we go right here and check out this number and as you can see it's almost the same PewDiePie is the biggest youtuber so he has a lot of fluctuations and that is why the last three digits are not the same but other than that it's looking good so let's continue I'm going to close this up and also this so right now I want to make this a simple function that is going to take one uh, parameter which is going to be the actual channel URL and then it will output this subscriber count. So I'm going to copy these lines right here and I'm going to create here check subscriber count function which is going to be async and it's going to take the channel URL and we are going to do it just like this and also return subscriber count looking good and right here we can easily use this just like that let's test it out make sure it works properly debug console and unfortunately I forgot right here to have a wait because this is a promise and I'm going to launch it again and now this is the number so I'm going to close this up and right now the last thing that we want to do is to make use of the node cron library which I'm going to first install it because I don't have it already so I'm going to go to the terminal npm install dash dash save node cron hit enter this is going to install the package that we need perfect just like this and I'm going to implement it at the top just like this and right here I want to make use of this node cron library to make sure that I run this function every second or every minute so I'm going to drag this documentation so that you can also see it and I'm going to simply copy this, paste it right here, and we can check this allowed fields. As you can see, the first one, second, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. So we are going to add another star right here, which is going to make it run every second. Okay, and I'm going to copy this line. paste it right here and I'm going to console.log first off new date just like this and the second parameter is going to be the actual subs so let's save this up and let's start to run it let's go to the debug console and as you can see we have right here an error syntax error await is only valid in async function okay right here we need to add async and that should be it and now let's go to the debug console and as you can see it runs every second and also you can see the subscribers changing all right so the only thing that i want to do right here date to locale date string i wanted to say date to locale string and this should show us also the actual hours and minutes and seconds 
so we can test it out but first I think it's also better to do something like this time and here we are going to have this okay and also another console.log subscribers subs just like this and that should be it let's start to run it again and let's see what we have okay and it's looking cool we have a live subscriber count feed now as an addition to what we've already done i want to show you how you can easily generate a cool and simple graph from the data that we already have from the subscribers count so let me show you the library that we are going to use for this it is named ascii chart and this is basically going to help us output a simple chart to the terminal so as you can see you only need to specify an array with a lot of values numeric values and it will basically output uh, the chart to the screen to the terminal for you this is basically it all you need to do is run npm install and then you will have the library ready so i already did that and i'm going to simply import it right here ascii chart and this is basically it for the require and now here's what we need to do because we need to make some changes to the code first of all i want to make sure that the subscriber count is giving us the clean version without the dots in the number so i will do a simple replace right here and i'm going to say that i want to replace all the dots and replace them with nothing this is basically it for this part and right here i want to initialize a simple array subscribers array as you can see it's going to be an empty array so that we can push the values into it as we get them so right here after we get the actual sub count i'm going to do this subscribers array dot push and i'm going to add this subscribers number and also we are going to remove this because we don't need it anymore and i'm going to replace them with the following lines of code this console log is basically going to clear out the terminal so that we can have fresh new data always showing from the chart and not be appended all the time and then the the following console.log is going to be the console log from the ascii function which is this one so i'm going to copy this paste it right here and I'm going to pass it in with the subscribers array I'm going to hit save and I want to test it out and make sure it works properly but before I'm going to do that I want to make sure that I put here the global flag and also right here I want to make sure that we at least have two or three values because the chart would be empty with one value so if subscribers array dot length is more than one then let's output this perfect let's save this up and i'm going to go to the terminal i am right here in the project folder and i'm going to say node index and just like that it starts to generate the graph as you can see and it's looking cooler and cooler with each value added onto it So this would be the end of the video, I really hope you liked it and if you did make sure to leave a like, a comment or subscribe if you feel like you want more videos like this. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye bye.